Hey guys, what's up? This is a review for the newest Karak Angren album. And this album came out February 23rd of 2015. And I remember being excited for this at the uh, end of 2014 uh, when it was announced. And uh, this is actually an album that I was expecting uh, to be, you know, more the same what they've done. And I wasn't disappointed, but I was also disappointed. Um, this is their fourth album, and uh, they're on Season of Mist, uh, Symphonic Black Metal, people know this, I'm just naming it after people who don't, and they're from Limburg, uh, you know, in the Netherlands. So, let me just get into the details of this album. This album is basically album number four. They haven't changed much. They're basically putting out, like, every two, er their first three albums, there was a bit of diversity, this one just seems like another you know, generic, pump out a new Karakangren album, and sell the merch, and go on tour. But, um, I don't know. I'm just getting into the music, and maybe, uh, you guys will understand what I'm talking about. Now, the first track, Once Upon a Time, is a very ominous and lurking opening, with, and violins usually give the, the feel that a, a normal uh, Karakangren album has. But, uh, you know, it's just a typical uh, Karak Angra and the ambience that they're trying to use. And then that leads in There's No Place Like Home. Now the orchestrations are, per usual, are a bit overbearing, I find. Uh, I find that like bands like Flesh Got Apocalypse and stuff do this too, where if they have any like orchestration at all, it's usually really fucking loud uh, compared to the, some of the other instruments. And the vocals are, uh, the vocals usually soar above the rest of it anyways. But uh, the vocals are nicely done, and if and uh, if you like the Karak uh, uh, vocal styles up to this point, you're not going to be disappointed with that, obviously. Uh, guitars are just a bit average, you know, the average Karak uh, sound, and they are sometimes uh, over, like you know, over bit, like they're buried under the symphonics, which I, I gets on my nerves after a while. But uh, it's it's not terrible in, in that way. It's not like uh, horrendously bad. And the drums uh, are kind of uh, mediocre too. But uh, I I really like their drumming. I find their technical drumming really awesome. And I'm a drummer, so like if I could ever play anything like their drummer, I'd be fucking uh, you know so happy with myself. But yeah, that track is a decent one. Then we move on to uh, when crows tick on windows. Now, uh, this is more the same, really. It's still a decent Karak Angren album. I mean, a uh, Karak Angren song, but, you know, it's just, uh, it's just pretty mediocre once again. And that, the track is, is good, but it's just more the same. And it kind of wears it on you a bit, you could say. And then, uh, Two Flaws flew into the Black Sugar Cobweb. Now, this track, um... Uh, I, they released this with a music video, I'm pretty sure. And when I heard it, when I heard, I think it was this track. When I heard it, I realized I would enjoy this album, uh, but not as much as the previous. Like you know, I kind of heard it, and I'm like, okay, more Karak Angren, but it's kind of similar to the old stuff. And even though the track is really good and kicks ass and symphonic, it's just kind of mediocre, kind of middling for me. Then dreaming of a nightmare in uh, Eden. Now this track uh, is a very, sh it's basically a very short track with gothic string work and whispered vocals that trans transition into wretched vocals or wretched vocals. Um, but it's good. It's a good track, but it's, it's uh, probably one of, like, uh, one of my least favorite on the album. Not because it's bad, but just because it's uh, not stand up for me. Then we move on to possessed by uh, which uh, possessed by which <laughs> Possessed by a craft of witchery. Fuck, I can't speak, but that's the name. Uh, a nicely composed track. The guitars are, you know, take. The guitars can take a back seat at times, but the vocals and drums, uh, you know, pierce the synth, uh, synth pretty well. It's just that I find they use the symphonics to accentuate the guitars, and it doesn't really accentuate the guitars. It just kind of buries them and kind of makes it like, oh, this is basically symphonic with no guitars. It's only when the guitars are getting chugged heavily you can really hear them. Uh, next is uh, Killed and Served by the Devil. Very breakneck and very like, heavy track. The title, like, the title is enough to tell you if, 
Uh, this is a, another fucking awesome track that just has a heavy as fuck Karakongra and sound. And if I haven't mentioned uh, the story, and this is basically Hansel and Gretel, uh, or, uh, yeah, Hansel and Gretel, but the most fucked up version you could think of. And uh, the people were bitching about, about the album and how the story ends in it. If you haven't listened to this album, I won't ruin the story ending for you. But they were bitching about it, but I, I, I didn't really care. I, I found it to be a good story no matter what. Then we move on to The Witch Parish and Flame. Flames. This is probably my least favorite. But, and the guitar work is a bit is kind of repetitive, and the vocals are slightly more like varied than their other stuff on this album. But it's just a bit boring, you know. Nicely played, but just too similar to their older shit. But it's still a good track, in my opinion. Uh, Tragedy Ever After. Uh, mostly blasting black metal with a softer interlude tossed into it. And it's just kind of like, you know. It's just a slower, softer song, and it gives you a good breather, I guess. The fade, like, and it fades, uh, it fades the album out, which I guess some people could care less for, but you know, whatever. And then there's a, a bonus track called uh, "Dreaming," uh, "Dreaming of a Nightmare in Eden." Now this is a this orchestral version, uh, pretty mediocre, not too, not too interesting. And, uh, you know, if you don't really like orchestral versions of songs, then you, this is not even, don't even buy the special edition to get that. Or the one the bonus track, just buy the fucking normal edition, because you're not, really not missing much. So yeah, that's, that's all I gotta say about the music. The art is creepy and dark, and I like it. And ties into the album's story, but, um, I don't know, just kinda looks like average character on an album work, artwork, uh, I like it. But it's nothing too like insanely awesome. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is just Kara Congren doing album number four. Really, this is just pump out a new album and hope the fans don't notice the fact that we haven't changed our sound that much. And not that I expect him to turn, go from like you know, <coughs> dark, like Dark Throne, fucking death metal first album, few a uh, bunch of black metal albums, and then fucking cross punk albums and fucking heavy metal albums. You know, I don't expect that. I just expect a little bit of variety, but I guess, like, you know, these guys got their formula, and they like to play their formula, and they'll add a little bit of variation in, but that's about it. Uh, I know, um, Brian Loves Metal 666, I believe, something, uh, something along the lines of that. Let me just look at his name here. Because uh, I used to watch him a lot, or, so, yeah, I think it was his channel. I'll link him in the description, uh, if but uh, he was saying, like, I'm not very imp impressed by it, and he's a big fan of Carl Hongren. And I know two or three other people who were big fans of uh, these guys, and they just they just weren't a big fan of this album. So, I guess to each their own, I guess I can see, I can definitely see why people are a bit disappointed. But for me, I still enjoyed it, and I still got a good bit of um, enjoyment out of the music, because I like the story, and I like the music itself. So, uh, overall, I'm just going to give this a 78 out of 100. Uh, tell me what you thought in the comments below. I'll be sure to reply. And, uh, you know, if you hated this album, then, you know, that's uh, your opinion. Peace the fuck out, guys, and have a